class today we will discuss the topic limiting reactant okay so let us see what is limiting reactant the reactant which limits the amount of the product formed in a reaction okay is called limiting reactant or the reactant which is present in small amount is called limiting reactant okay so we can see one example 2h2 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2 this is the formation of water okay here two moles of hydrogen reacts with one mole of oxygen we get two moles of water instead of one mole of oxygen if we take two moles of oxygen what happens so after the reaction one mole of oxygen will be left over okay so if you take two so here it is two mole of hydrogen one mole of oxygen we get two moles of water so instead of that we take two mole of hydrogen and two mole of oxygen so we can say that what happens uh, the one mole of uh, oxygen will not be reacting with that hydrogen so one mole of hydrogen uh, will be a left over one mole of uh, sorry oxygen one mole of oxygen will be left over so two mole hydrogen will be reacting because that is the equation but one mole of oxygen will left over okay so the reactant which is completely consumed in a reaction is called uh, limiting reactant so here it is hydrogen so the reactant which is completely uh, consumed in a reaction is called limiting reactant uh, the limiting reactant uh, limits the amount of the product formed and the reactant which is present in excess amount is called excess reactant okay so limiting reactant is a reactant which is which limits the amount of the product formed or which is used up completely in the reaction and the excess reactant which is present in excess amount is called excess reactant that is all about limiting reactant okay now we can move on to the next topic and the last topic of this chapter that is reactions in solutions reactions in solutions reactions in solutions reactions in solutions so you have to note that what is reactions in solution in chemistry laboratory most of the reactions are doing in uh, solution phase or in liquid state we are conducting most of the reactions in solution phase so in solution phase we want to know the uh, concentration or amount of the substance in that solution so for that we have uh, for some uh, concentration terms so here we will discuss the concentration terms of solutions how can we calculate or how can we determine the concentration so the first one is mass percent the first one is mass percent what do you mean by mass percent of a solution okay this thing we have already studied mass percent is is a thing but mass of a solute press it is a percentage of the mass of a solute present in a solution it is the percentage of mass of a solute present in a solution so we can write like this mass percent is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100 so mass percent is equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100 clear that's all about mass percent here from this we can find out mass percent of solute in that particular solution okay the next one is molarity the next concept is 
molarity. So let us see what is molarity. Second one, molarity. M O L A R I T Y. There are different concentration terms. Second one is molarity. Molarity is also a concentration term which is used in solution. It is the uh, number of moles of solute present in liter of the solution. Okay, it is the number of moles of solute present in liter of the solution. Clear? So we can say uh, like this molarity it is represented as capital M. Molarity is represented as capital M. So molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter volume of solution in liter so number of moles of solute present per liter of solution ok so number of moles can be written like this how can we write number of moles mass of solute divided by molecular mass of solute okay molecular mass of solute divided by molecular mass of solute into volume of solution in liter into volume of solution in liter okay okay now we can convert this liter into ml we get mass of solute divided by molecular mass of solute into volume in ml so it is now converted to ml so you have to multiply by 1000 clear now it is converted to ml it was written so you have, uh, now it is in ml so you have to multiply by 1000 so now we have some notations for this mass of solute is represented by wb into 1000 divided by molecular mass of solute it is mb into volume capital V in ml so this is the uh, equation for molarity molarity is equal to wb into 1000 by mb into volume in ml clear so the unit of molarity is capital M molar it is capital M it is molar or moles per liter so the unit of molarity is molar or moles per liter here WB is mass of solute and MB is molecular mass of solute V is volume in ml now we can move on to the third concept that is molality molality m o l a l i t y it is represented by the letter small m molality small m okay smolality is the number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent what is molality it is Number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent, not solution, solvent. Number of moles of solute per uh, mass of solvent in kilogram. So, molality is equal to uh, number of moles of solute by mass of solvent in kilogram okay number of mass of solvent sorry number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kilogram are you getting me now uh, we can convert it into mass by molecular mass that is mass of solute divided by molar mass of 
solvent into sorry not solvent solute molar mass of solute because number of moles can be converted by mass by molar mass molar mass of solute into mass of solvent mass of solvent in kilogram mass of solvent in kilogram okay so here uh, when you convert this kilogram into gram you have to multiply by 1000 that is equal to mass of solute into 1000 divided by molecular mass of solute into mass of solvent in gram okay mass of solvent in gram okay so mass of solute is wb in 2000 and molecular mass is mb into uh, mass of solvent is wa wa in gram okay so wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa in gram it is molality wb mass of solute mb molecular mass of solute W is mass of solvent in gram. Okay, so that is molality. It is represented by small m. Unit is small r or moles per kilogram. Are you getting me, students? Now we can move on to the last concentration thing. Uh, concentration time that is mole fraction. The last concentration time is mole fraction. Okay mole fraction that means mole in fraction so mole fraction is nothing but number of moles of a particular component divided by total number of moles number of moles of a particular component divided by total number of moles that is equal to uh, mole fraction and it is a ratio therefore it has no unit it is a unitless quantity. So, mole fraction is the number of mole of a particular component divided by total number of moles. Okay. So, we can consider the mole fraction of a binary solution containing A and B. Containing A and B. So, mole fraction is represented by the symbol chi. This is known as chi. C H I chi C H I chi mole fraction can be represented by this symbol it is chi so we have mole fraction of A it is chi A is equal to number of moles of A number of moles of A divided by number of moles of A plus number of moles of B that is equal to N A divided by N A plus N B N A divided by N A plus N B where N A is number of moles A, of A and N B is number of moles of B clear? and it has no unit it is unitless quantity and mole fraction of this is mole fraction of A then mole fraction of B that is chi B mole fraction of B that is chi B it is number of moles of B divided by total number of moles and A plus N B this number of moles of A and number of moles of B N B divided by N A plus N B the total value will be 1 ok so mole fraction is the number of moles of a particular component divided by total number of moles that is equal to mole fraction it is represented by the symbol chi okay today we have discussed limiting reactant mole fraction molality molarity uh, mass percent okay that is all about today's session thank you